Hi, I'm Jimi Hendrick, and this episode is DBE 72, Impact Health Sharing, on Empower Your Pattern. Hi, I'm Jimmy. I'm your coach. I want to help you better, have a better and extraordinary life right now. I want to help you discover the spiritual and temporal tips to help you overcome the adversities in everyday life. So come along with me and we will discover the patterns of success set forth by the Word of God. So let's get together, team. Let's do this. Are you ready? Let's roll. Hello, everybody. Uh, well, most of my ACN colleagues have purchased tickets for what's now a virtual event for their Elevate event, which is, um, had been postponed and slimmed down because of the hurricane. But, undaunted, <laughs> I'm going to give you a little bit of the toolkit that's in the uh, bonus content. I'm going to talk to you about a service that I strongly believe in. I'm going to start out with a little... Uh, introduction by uh, Impact Health Sharing's CEO, Phil Chrysler. Let's hear it. Hi, I'm Phil Chrysler, President and CEO of Impact Health Sharing. Healthcare sharing began in churches. You were asked to contribute to help Bob and Sue with their ailment. People passed the hat and you contributed what you could to help your fellow member in need. Then, fast forward, you saw great things occurring in the Amish and Mennonite communities doing exactly the same thing. Then it got a little more formalized in the 80s with some religious-based organizations. And then the Affordable Care Act came along. That's really what propelled healthcare sharing to its modern-day growth. You remember, the individual mandate penalized you with a tax if you didn't have health insurance. But if you were a member of certain health care sharing organizations, you didn't have to pay that. Now we know the individual mandate has, of course, been reduced to zero. But in the meantime, health care sharing grew over a thousand percent in the last decade alone. Why? Because it's an alternative to the high cost of insurance. Typically, you'll pay 30 to 50 percent less. Some reasons why? We're not for profit. So we have no profit motives that typically cause conflict between members, providers, shareholders, and the executive team. None of that exists with healthcare sharing and certainly with impact. You can stop overpaying, my friends. Here's an important statistic to understand why. Department of Health and Human Services says about 5% of the population account for nearly half of the healthcare spending that occurs in this country majority are healthy. They're overpaying, though, for the non-healthy. Insurance has become really no longer affordable. 80% of U.S. adults rate lowering their health care costs as their top concern. So why impact? Well, we're rooted in the love thy neighbor approach, which allows us to welcome all races, all religions, all colors, all creeds. We were the very first healthcare sharing entity to launch this patented technology platform that really provides 100% transparency. This had never been done before in healthcare sharing, certainly not in health insurance. We have member-owned accounts. That way the money stays in your account. We have no network. You get to see any doctor you want. Again, providing uh, full transparency on how all the money moves is something we're really, really proud of. And, of course, you have no open enrollment restrictions. Membership begins the first of every month. You just got to finish that application by the last day of the previous month. We also have great pricing and programs for individuals, for families, for seniors, and for groups. And remember, friends, it's a comprehensive program for your health. So we have preventative services, maternity, accident, illness, and of course, injuries. You have access to telemedicine and an industry-leading prescription drug pricing program. Here is a quick video that highlights the opportunity for all of us to be a disruptor in the industry. Enjoy. Healthcare spending made up 5% of total U.S. GDP in 1960. In 2020, spending hit almost 20%. National polls show Americans believe healthcare prices and drug costs are among their top pocketbook concerns. 
Over the past 20 years, the runaway cost of health insurance has outpaced earnings and inflation, leaving our families with less freedom and less money. Families, small businesses, and individuals alike are struggling to find a way to pay for the health care they can't seem to afford. So how are we going to solve this problem? All over the world, technology is changing the way people and society connect and interact. The result? Countless industries are disrupted. But while the rest of the world has changed, insurance and the way we pay for health care remains broken and largely the same. What if there was a way we could all pay for health care that simply worked better and felt better than insurance? Well, today there is. We are Impact Health Sharing. We are a network of families, individuals, business owners, and small entrepreneurs who want to see the old way of doing things change. We use technology to connect tens of thousands of individuals and families across the nation to simply share and pay each other's medical bills. Old problems can be solved when people come together to leverage their sense of community with technology to control the cost of health care. My friends, what we are simply doing is leveraging your sense of community with technology to control the cost of health care. I hope you'll join us. And there we go. Now you may say, well, Jimmy, how did you get partnered with Impact Health Sharing? Well, you know, I talked about this earlier about, you know, winter, well, I just got back from Utah in uh, September of 2022. And I was kind of laying around, no purpose, feeling sorry for myself. You know, thinking stuff like, well, you're you're just you're just a low grade defective idiot with no purpose. Went to Toastmasters, and I ran into my uh, a new friend named Connie. She was talking about her business. You know, I thought, well, it's a side job. It's what she got. And then um, I was interested in another uh, service that they had at the time. We still have it at the time called Flash Mobile. Um. And, and I will, I will talk about that at some point. Uh, don't know when, but at some point I will um, talk about it because it's it's important. It's important for us to begin to see. All right, now here we go. While we were having lunch and talked about the phone plans. She said, Jimmy, I, I kind of think you're going to be an entrepreneur at some point. I, I said, how did you know what I was thinking? She said, because I see it. I see good things in you. And, and even though I really wanted to, to be that, I didn't have the confidence in myself at the time. And then she mentioned impact health sharing. Now, let me give you a little bit of my history while I was in graduate school. I first started studying um, public policy. And I started hearing about the mental health, the, the um, health care crisis in America. You know, people having trouble, you know, paying for insurance, paying for the medical bills. And I was like, well, there's got to be a fix. And there was, a, I, I switched majors in graduate school over to health care policy and administration. And a lot of professors, except for maybe one in the debate, uh, they said, well, there is no other fix except socialized medicine. And when Connie told me over that fried chicken lunch about impact health sharing, I lit up. I was like, finally! A solution to the health care problem, the health care crisis, I have been looking for health care. Now, I've heard about it, you know, uh, in the past, like, oh, they been said, whatever, 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 whatever. But I started going to meetings. I started learning about impact. And, um, of course, I was in the meetings. I had a chance to um, study under the feet of one of my mentors, the coach, Presley Slaggerty. You heard about him yesterday in the... Uh, 
in, in the episode um, in the episode uh, in Amber Burt's guide to to belief in the prize and then of course I didn't mention him in episode 65 which is and, and uh, which was uh, uh, well uh, DBE 65 which is equally yoked in faith and business the one I did the, the YouTube video on had Blanca <laughs> Bless her heart. <laughs> and, and then, and me, Cariño, <laughs> kind of felt like a deer in the headlights. If I'd known, I wouldn't have never asked her to come on stage. Bless her heart. But, but the good news is this. What I'm trying to tie all these in together is, see, hey, we found our belonging. Now, this bonus content is to help us find our niche as entrepreneurs. Okay. And so. This is one of those things. I hope you, I'm glad you've heard. About this health sharing thing. Hope you enjoy listening to. Empower Your Pattern. If you like to cheer. Please subscribe. Become a part of Pattern Realm. Until next time. Don't sit there and take it. Go out there and build your dreams. So you can take it. And do what others don't. So you can be what others won't. And do what others won't. So you can have what others can't. A cheat and play shadows, mamacito, papacito, and everybody. This is Jimi Hendrix saying until next time, choose, act, and pursue happiness. God bless you. Remember this, from the bottom of my heart, Jimmy loves you. I really, 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 really love you. God bless you, and please have a blessed day.